hello everyone welcome to another video hope you are enjoying it so we are done with the topic president so this video will be on the topic vice president vice president's qualification as well as the oath taken by the vice president so let's get started so let us start with the topic vice president So already we have read some points in the president video that is in absence of president vice president acts uh, on behalf of president and he also discharge his function okay on the behalf of president so whenever the president is sick or uh, he is absent in his place right vice president can act his function secondly vice president is the chairman of the council of states that is rajya sabha all election disputes relating to the election of uh, vice president are usually inquired and decided by the supreme court and finally vice president is also not elected directly by the people but they are elected by the electoral college electoral college about electoral college uh, we have gone through in the president video already because president also elected by the electoral college let us see electoral co college consist of actually the nominated members and elected members of both the house of parliament that is lok sabha and rajya sabha and secondly proportional representation by means of single transferable vote so single transferable vote is nothing but a voting system which is designed to achieve the vote and each voter casting a single ballot on which candidates are ranked okay so it is simply a proportional representation or a single transferable vote by the voter next is what's the qualification of a vice president to become a vice president what qualification is required firstly he should be a citizen of india he should have completed 35 years of age so minimum age limit is 35 years so one should attain 35 years then only he can apply for this position of vice president thirdly he should be qualified for the election as a member of rajya sabha first he should have that qualification to become a member of rajya sabha then only he can apply for the position of uh, vice president and lastly he should not hold any office of profit under union government state government and local authority so like president he should all she should not be in any job under state government central government and local authority and he should not hold any office of profit then only he will be qualified to become a vice president oath by the vice president so what oath usually taken by the vice president usually firstly uh, he should take oath that whatever he is going to do he will do it with true faith and allegiance to the constitution of india allegiance means loyalty or commitment to a superior or to a group or cause so what my senior is telling i will listen that is actually the loyalty so with honesty and loyalty i will work to the constitution of india okay secondly whatever duties functions he is going to perform and discharge he is going to do it faithfully so he should not violate any law constitution or any other provisions whatever duties he is going to discharge he is going he will do it faithfully and the oath or affirmation what of the vice president is usually administered by the president or any other person appointed by the president so this is all about relating to the oath of or oath by the vice president